Hi there again, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for your commentary today on this match, which is going to have an extra factor to it, the heavy rain that's Thank been you. falling. Yeah, the ball is going to skid across the surface. I did used to like these kind of conditions because you get one or two mistakes. If you're on your toes, it's one or two goals about for strikers. And our match today is Berry versus Charlton Athletic. This is the home team lineup. Well, it's the old joke, isn't it, Alan? Diamonds aren't forever, but they are, for this game anyway, for this manager. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? We've got those lads on the side of the diamond quite wide, but I think they might tuck in when they... Here's the chance! He scored! Fantastic start! Really quick off the blocks here. And they've given themselves a terrific boost for what lies ahead. Came close to goalkeeper, actually did get a touch on it, but I think it was a pretty good effort to do that much. Well beaten, really. Yeah, I don't think you can blame the keeper, Martin. He's looking at his defenders. Why was the lad given so much space? He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. To get into the more advanced positions, they're going to press higher up the pitch, the home team. Yeah, they really need to put the opposition under more pressure than they have been. Looking and shoots! Good stop by the goalkeeper. Pierce. After that draw, which was very, very well contested earlier in the season, the visiting team will come here, hoping at least to be able to do the same again. But this is a hard place to win at, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and uh, the crowd make it difficult for you. They're tight to the pitch, they really make a racket, and uh, it's a test for the visitors. Good vision. Could whip it in from here. Made the tackle. And that's gone out of harm's way for a goal kick. Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that this uh, rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. Taking it well under pressure. Reeves. Darren Prattley. That's an easy interception. The pass wasn't really... A very thoughtful one. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Brilliant pass, can he finish it? He wasn't phased by facing a player who's already got the better of him in this game. Well, he's got his defenders out of jail there because they allowed the striker to, to run free. Swung in from the corner. Defended well. It's a corner again. In goes the corner, and they get it away. Yeah, it's gone out of play, and it will be a throw from that uh, headed clearance. Here's Taylor. 
It's a very good interception. Goal news from Scunthorpe. It's a goal for Burton Albion. 31 minutes played. 1 0. He's got his shot off now. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. Test of his control now. Darren Prattley. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. He's going to trust his goalkeeper's footwork here with a back pass. Dennis. Slipping it through. All about picking the right pass now as he cuts it back. Oh, what a fine goal! They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable. And they're good value for this advantage at the moment. Saw the goal and went for it. Shots on here. Dennis. Nicky Maynard. Oh, time to get the cross now. <laughs> well, Ali's come and pitched the ball off the toes of the attacker. Well, as we know, you have to time these absolutely perfectly because the attacker will go down at the slightest touch. Careless there. And there goes the whistle for half-time. And the scoreline is 2-0. Well, no goals from this high-scoring team, and I must say that's a, a real surprise. Yeah, not often that uh, those strikers can be kept quiet, but doing it for 90 minutes is a lot more difficult. We're going to find out just how good the drainage is here in the second half. It's been pouring again through half-time, and it's still coming down in stair rods, really, as the second half gets underway. It's looking good, this move. Well, then it goes. Very sharp reaction save from close in. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. Well, he clears the danger. Isco is on the move. He has moved to Manchester United. Well, they were decisive. They knew who they wanted and prepared to spend around £75 million on this boy. Just working away to try and find an opening. Shots off! Plenty of power, but not too much direction. Goal news from Blackpool. It's a goal for Blackpool. 57 minutes played. 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Slipping it through. Delivered into the box. Oh, it was a cross that he got in quickly, but he didn't really control. Here's Thompson. And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go. And in behind the defenders. Played in the clear. Going to try his luck. Delightful touch to score the goal. I doubt in his career he's ever had a more straightforward chance to score. And his eyes lit up and the net bulged. Well, I have seen them missed. And that kind of range with the goal gaping, but not often, I've got to say. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Goal news involving Bolton, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Bolton Wanderers. 64 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Reeves. 
wonderful interception. Substitute coming up for the away team. I did think that this would be one of the tightest games we've seen, Alan, but it's extraordinary. It's gone the other way. Yeah, it has. It has. I think everybody in the stadium is quite surprised by that because the one side has been knocking the ball about nice and crisply. The other one's been chasing it and looked flat, lethargic. Cullen. He's got his shot off now. O'Shea. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. A goal from uh, South End. It's a goal for Peterborough United. 77 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Thanks, Alan. And pressure to absorb. High up the pitch. This has been called a football match, but it hasn't been much of a match-up between the two sides. The winners conclusively at their best, and the losers just aching to hear the final whistle now. Can find some space here on the flanks. Chance from the path. The shot's on. Oh, that's a fantastic goal. Well, he's point-blank range. But you've got to be there to score. You've got to be there to miss it as well, but he didn't. There's another one for them. Well, it's certainly going to help the goal difference. It might be important at the end of the season. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. A very comfortable margin for victory. Can't really be any comeback in the time that we've got left with such a difference between the two teams. And the away team want to make a change. And here is Page. Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a mishit pass. The fourth official well, has two indicated added a minutes. minimum of two minutes of added time. O'Shea. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. And there it is, it is over. They never let up, did they? They kept on going to make this a very big margin of victory. Yeah, they were ruthless, actually. Quite often, last 10 or 15, you, you ease off, but this team didn't. Plenty of goals they've scored. They are the highest-scoring team, but their defending's been terrible, and they're beaten. Yeah, well, we know where to look to point the finger of blame, and that's at the defenders. I'm sure the manager will be doing that. Welcome, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith. Alan, looking forward to it today. Yeah, I think so, Martin. There's a really good buzz in the air here. For a long time, Hull City, of course, were the biggest catchment area. But they've never had a top division football team. Now they've had a few goes at it, and here they go again in the Premier League after promotion. Um, but it's difficult. It's been very hard for them to really get a foothold in the top flight. Well, I had them down as title challengers. I can't believe where they are at this stage in the season and I just don't think they're going to recover now and this is today's starting lineup for the home team well it looks like all hands to the defensive pump at least they've got two forwards yes and uh, hopefully they will get some service but uh, it is capable this shape of being pretty negative and this is how the opposition will line up to put them in front hit the post 
cleared away by the defender. Fine margins down there. Woodwork playing its part, but if they keep on playing like this, I think the goal will soon come. Could be his game today, the way he's been playing recently. He's got his shot off now. The chance did open up for that kind of shot. Well, if you don't have a go... And now Thompson. Stokes. Adams. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. And shoots! And the goalkeeper very much on his game today. And coming up now, a corner. Swung in from the corner. Shots on here. Defended well. Shots on. Goalkeeper has to go and uh, get the ball for the goal kick. It was a draw when these two teams met earlier in the season, so um, I, I don't think there's much between them now, is there? Not an awful lot, no. And uh, if I was a betting man, I think I would put my money on a draw again here. Goal news from Portsmouth. It's a goal for Blackpool. 21 minutes, please. 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. You. Can really get at the opposition here. It's Miller. Stokes, bit of keep ball going on here. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Lennon. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Amiobi. Throw in to come. To put them in front. He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? Adams, Amiobi, well it's a tough place to visit this but the away team today come here in good heart Alan they've won their last two games yeah they should be in good heart and, and as you say it won't be easy but uh, they're in impressive form to more pass threaded through well, the goalkeeper's got it, but only just. Likes to come into this area. They'll want him further up front, though, as the game develops, I'm sure. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. That's a... He is a saviour there. Thompson. That'll be two added minutes. Hit it well! He's blocked the shot well. Well, he has cleared the danger. So it's half-time and we're still waiting for that first goal. 
Well, the word average comes to mind about his first half. What do you think, Alan? Yeah, it was hard work for him in that first half. You could see him putting in a shift, but not much went right, and uh, he'll hope to improve in this second period. So the referee's happy, and the second half gets underway. Thompson. Amiobi. Sending off to tell you about at Bolton, Alan McAnally. It's a red card for Bolton Wanderers. They're down to 10 men. 48 minutes played. It remains 2-0. Thanks, Alan. So now a goal kick to come. That deal has been completed now, and Real Madrid have made the signing. They've announced it. Yeah, I suppose when you look at the market, Martin, I mean, £110 million pounds sounds an awful lot, but the player of this quality is probably worth that. For Turner. Hendry, he could lay it off to the supporting player. Put in from the wide area. It's not really away from the threat here. Goal news from Portsmouth. It's a second goal for Portsmouth. 54 minutes played. 2 1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Amiobi. Moore. Good vision here. All Peters out rather for them. Being closed down. Reading of the by anticipating the pass. Hopper threading it through. It's a good cross, only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Adams getting forward well as a team now lost his marker there cleverly he's got it away and that's what you have to do Adams bit of space to go forward into with the ball maybe the cross and here's O'Shea Amiobi. And here, it's the goalkeeper's ball. Well, let's pause for a moment to let in Alan McAnally here with some goal news. It's a second goal for Shrewsbury Town. 71 minutes played, 2-1. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Oh, the header looked in for all the world, but the goalkeeper somehow was able to keep it from crossing the line. Well, he can't believe it. The striker, it's head in hands for him. But uh, the goalkeeper, no wonder he's getting pats on the back. That's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper. Adams. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Can pull it back here to set up a chance. To put them in front. Well, it was a bit desperate, but what a good challenge. Counting down in the last ten minutes here. Nine to go. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. Goal is from Millwall. It's a third goal for Millwall. Six minutes remain. Three nil. Cheers, Alan. Can really get at the opposition here. It's Miller. Stokes. And in the shot go. Adams. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum. Now Lennon, there's only a minute to go. Well, he's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception, made it look easy, actually. 
Well, there we are. Nothing to separate these two sides at the end of this contest. Well, this has ended level, and there's something to smile about for both the managers as they shake hands down on the touchline. You get these days, don't you? You can't be at your best every week, and uh, neither of these teams were. I think had he been better today, maybe the result would have been better for his side. Well, we've loaded the plaudits on him when he's been scoring this season, but you've got to criticise on this occasion because he was really poor out there. No goal to show in what was a pretty poor draw as well for his side.